um, embedded into our consciousness, you know, right or wrongly. You know, we could say that it was, you know, uh, for example, the Little Mermaid could have been a black mermaid from the get-go. Yeah. Had it been a different time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There was no reason why the Little Mermaid had to be white. That's true. She could have been a black mermaid from the get-go. It it escapes me. Did they have any black people in the Little Mermaid? Uh, Oh, there are no black people in the Little Mermaid. (laughs) Okay. No, I was going to think like extra mermaids or anyone on land or anyone that was in the sea. I don't recall any black people in the Little Mermaid. But I mean, other than making Sebastian um, Caribbean. I know that the chef in the kitchen... They have to, you know, that's a big part. Yeah. Remember yeah. the chef in the kitchen with the big mess that he creates trying to kill Sebastian? Yeah. Poor Sebastian gets caught in. Not, is it so? Yeah, Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian yeah. was like the only African American. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a crab. Sebastian so. was African American. <laughs> yeah. But he was a crab. Or Jamaican American. Jamaican, right? yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's going to be fun. It's going to be. I, I'm. I'm very excited about this movie because The Little Mermaid is one of my favorites. Yeah. I think it's a lot of uh, gay men and women's favorites. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be really really fun to watch. With that, I think you either think you have your lesbian friends that have had crush on Ariel or you either had gay men that want to sing like Ariel. Ariel, yes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so, so, um you know, I'm trying to think other movies that have uh that have been transferred from white to black and I can't think um well, I mean, those are the, the only two that come to mind for me. You know, the Wiz is one. Yeah, and that turned out pretty successful. Yeah, it was good. It was bigger on Broadway than it was in the movie version. Mm-hmm. The movie version didn't do very well, although I love the movie version. But yeah, I do too. Some people don't like it. My favorite song is that, Can you feel a brand new day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you feel a brand new day I love that song and Michael Jackson's uh, Stand Alone the one yeah. he was a scarecrow that was his first yeah. movie yeah that was that was his first movie yeah and it had Nipsey Russell in it and I can't think of the guy that plays the lion but he was very very good I forget too and I always thought you know no offense to Diana Ross but I always thought she was miscast for the role oh yeah I think mm. she was too old for the part yeah do you know what I mean yeah that just was- too old for the part I mean I'm sorry but just was that movie made in the 70s? Yes. Okay, yeah, she yeah. was too old too for the old part. Too old for the part. I just, I'm sorry, <laughs> but, you know, this... Uh, uh, what She's is right. Uh, Annie. Remember the recent Annie? They Annie, made it? yes! Yeah. They made Annie. And it, it, was, uh, it was okay. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just a different take on it. Do you know it what was, I mean? Yeah. Whereas the original has all the music and... Mm-hmm. And, they, and, and it did. And she had a decent uh, voice, but yeah, um, yeah. And Cinderella in the mid nineties. Yeah, we've got we Cinderella. Got that definitely, we had Cinderella. We definitely got yeah. So but, I don't know. It's it's interesting. I don't think race really changes anything, especially from it those. It doesn't. It doesn't. Three the movies. only reason, again, the only reason that I brought it up is because I wanted to make sure that everyone understood that I don't think all white people, and I'm saying, are racist. So all white people or people that are not not of, of black heritage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are, and, and many uh, b- people that are not black are reacting to the new Ariel not because she's black, but because she doesn't look like the image that Disney has shoved down our throats for over 30 years. Yeah. The only image we had was that image. It right. was on birthday cakes, T-shirts, swimwear, towels. Dolls. Dolls. Many dolls. Yeah. You know, there were several aerial movies. That was not the only one. There was an aerial Little Mermaid cartoon. Yeah. Okay, voice, you know, by Jody Benson. The the character has been iconicized in our in our psyche that she looks this way. Now all of a sudden you bring in this person and you say, She's the new Ariel. Oh well, whoa. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There was a react there was yeah. a natural reaction to wait. This is not what I've been seeing. It's like I have to process this. I have to process this. Yeah. So, and I understand that. Now, there are some people, like I said, that are being racist. There yeah. are some people. But everybody's initial reaction was not racist. I just don't believe that. Because mm-hmm. mine wasn't. Because what I did was is I went, okay, well, let me look at this girl. You know, that was the main thing I wanted to see. Yes. I wanted to look at her, you know. Yeah. And the girl is just, just drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. 
I mean, she is. She is just beautiful. I, I don't know where she came from. I don't know what she's done. Well, so the only thing I'm ever going to know her as for the first time is going to be as Ariel. So she's going to bring Ariel to life for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't. I've never seen her in anything else. Well, so far her thing, is, uh, her acting chops have been. Well, she's been a singer, of course, with her sister. But also, she's been in the series Grownish. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Blackish kind of started the the teenage girl out, right. and she went to college. So now it's called Grownish, okay. and now her friend in that movie is uh, Hallie. Oh, okay. So we'd have to look up the freeform show Grownish. And Halle Berry, God bless her, she got a lot of call letters this <laughs> week. <And laughs> Halle ba- Berry, not Bailey, the girl that's playing Ariel, but Halle Berry, the actress. Uh, they're both actresses, but Halle Berry, the Academy Award winning actress, got roasted over the coals when her name came up because people thought it was her. Yeah. And the first thing they started doing was, well, girl, she's so old and she's old. <laughs> and the old, and they said, they called her old so many times that Halle Berry finally had to come out and say, okay, wait a minute, y'all. Y'all need to cut it out. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm up there, but I ain't a grandmother. You know, because they were coming yeah. for well, it was, it was a natural reaction. Wait, they thought it was Halle Berry. And it's, yeah. the girl's name is Halle Bailey. Yeah. So uh, the names are very similar, though. If you say them really fast, Halle Bailey, Halle Berry. I mean, now, <laughs> now I could see a mother-daughter thing with that. I could see a mother-daughter, but uh, uh, yeah, un- unfortunately, but in The Little Mermaid, the mother is never mentioned. It's as yeah. if the mother doesn't exist. Right. Yeah. There is no mother in the story. But then now, again, maybe we'll know more about it in the movie. Maybe the movie will address that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why she doesn't have a mother? Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. But she does have sisters. She does, yes. I she remember that. She does have sisters. So, 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 that's, so I'm, I imagine all the sisters will be interracial. You know, yeah. they'll probably work that. You know yeah. what I mean? I think so, too. So, now, is the hair going to be the same color? Because that's the Little Mermaid color, yeah, right? it is. It is. Or is she going to have her own version of it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, she, she, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, the red hair is the signature. Is the costume so going to be the same? Because that costume is iconic. The which shells. is the purple shells and then the green bottom. Yeah. But then they're going to talk about, oh, over-sexing her up or something. Well, they're going to have know. to put her in a mermaid costume, no matter yeah. how you look at it. You know. I think so. So, I don't know, uh, what is that? Uh, Steel, Steel Magnolias. Magnolias. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you find it on DVD? I don't think so. I don't think you can find that Steel Magnolias on DVD. I don't. It, there's a, it's a DVD picture. Oh, uh, okay. It's, yeah. That's a disaster. That movie was a disaster. <laughs> Look at that A-list group. I Alicia mean, Rashad. Are, I know. Queen Latifah, Alfre Woodard. I know. I don't know who these three are, but it was just as bad yeah. as bad could be. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Was um, <laughs> was t- was um, uh, was it? Oh, Cicely Tyson in it? Maybe. Uh, I, I don't think yeah. I don't, no, I don't see her there. I can't remember who was in it. I forget. <laughs> Cicely Tyson is in every great movie. <laughs> yes, she She's, is. She just turned ninety four. <laughs> yeah. Yay for Cicely! I know. So amazing. Yay. How amazing is that to be? Oh my God! I just love her so much. She's my favorite black actress of all time. I just oh, love her, love her, love her. So anybody on there? Um, no, just uh, it was just the. Um, uh, Victoria giving us. Uh, oh no, it was Cameron that gave us Annie. Oh Annie, uh, yes. Oh okay. And then Cinderella, she gave us Cinderella. So Cinderella, yeah. Cinderella, yeah. Cinderella was good. I liked the Brandy version. The only thing I didn't like about Brandy was the hairstyle for the ball. Do you know what I mean? I would have liked yeah. a different style, but you know, Brandy has the braid, so I guess I wanted to incorporate it. But I wanted yeah. a difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and what I was going to say, what was most important is that seeing pe- yourself represented on, uh, in that, media. Now that part I do love. Yes. That they are creating representation because we need that. Yes. This is why pose is so important for the the LGBT community. When you see drag queens being represented on yeah. television, that's a big deal. It to is to see trans women and drag queens being represented. That's a huge deal that we're being represented and that we're re- we're being represented for our community and the things that are going on in our community, you know? Yeah. In a good way. Yeah, yeah. in a good way, yeah. And, so. while, and while this generation can always fall back on those animated classics, yeah. it's always good that going ahead, they can, they can A, either see themselves represented, or B, they can get this new iteration of stronger women yeah. or new iteration of this story. 
Yeah, I, I just want, I just want to, I, the reason I mentioned everything that I did today was because I wanted to make sure that everybody that's listening on the radio or watching live on Facebook, that they understand that it's really not racism when a lot of people react. I don't think yeah. everybody's reaction was racist. I really don't believe that about, about how, yeah. I, I don't believe that at all. I, I just, I, I do believe, don't get me wrong, I don't live in a crazy house. I know that there are racist people and that there are racist reactions, but I don't believe everybody's ra reaction was racist. I think some people just wanted to see that iconic character look the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? But let's just get over it, honey. We're moving on. It is yeah. 2019. We'll be all right. We can survive it. We're going to have a black area. I think it's awesome. This commercial break is brought to you in part by BMW of Sarasota. At BMW of Sarasota, we understand where you buy your new vehicle is just as important as the purchase itself. BMW of Sarasota. You know they're LGBTQ friendly. When you can see them on Rainbow411.com, your source for businesses, articles, and events. All right, everyone, we're going to take a break. And when we get back, we're going to talk about, the, um, well, I'm going to talk a little bit about Trump because we, ne we, ne we never did talk about the 4th of July, and I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about the airplanes that George Washington used to protect our country in 1775. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> For over 20 years, Francis House has opened its doors to people infected and affected by HIV AIDS. We offer daily support groups, counseling, lunch, medical case management, bus passes, a food pantry, and confidential HIV testing. All services are provided free of charge by a staff that is dedicated to proving that HIV is not the only positive in your life. If you're in need of any of our services or simply want to build friendships and strengthen your support network, please visit www.francishouse.org or call 813-237-3066. Tune into your life and me, Christina Larry Bubblicious. So we're back on the air. I wanted to read to you guys what the, um, what is this girl that just won the soccer game? Megan. Um, Rapion. Um, Megan. Megan Rapion. Megan Rapion. Let me see here. I got to find it. So she says she was on Anderson Cooper last night. Did you see what she said? Yeah, so I'm going to read to you word for word what she said. If you didn't watch Anderson Cooper, I'm going to read it. Okay, her response. He said, do you have anything you want to say directly to Trump? And this is her response. She said, your message, this is to Trump. Your message is excluding people. You're excluding me. You're excluding people that look like me. You're excluding people of color. You're excluding Americans that maybe support you. I think that we need to have a reckoning with the message that you have and what you're saying about make America great again. I think that you're hearkening back to an era that was not great for everyone. It might have been great for a few people and maybe America's great for a few people right now, but it's not great for everyone. Let me see. Um, then she goes, you have an incredibly... Maybe America's good for enough, but it's, not, it's, but it's not incredible for everyone right now. You have an incredible responsibility as the chief of this country to take care of every single person, and you are failing to do that. You need to do better for everyone. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty severe. Yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and I thought that was kind of amazing. They're not going to the White House. Yeah, that's she what I heard. She said, hell... And I'm going to use the, uh, the F word, F and no. <laughs> well, there were two she lesbians. Said, hell, F and no, we're not going. And there were two lesbians on that soccer team, which, by the way, congratulations to the U.S. women's yeah, they're soccer amazing. team. Yes. Yeah, they equal won the pay, World Cup. Equal pay. Equal, equal pay. Equal pay. Absolutely equal pay. Everyone yeah. is in agreement. They should get equal pay. They should. Yeah. Absolutely. A especially for being a championship team. And yeah. I did see one tweet where, she, where Trump was like, well, win first and then talk to me. And it was like she's holding the trophy. <laughs> she's yeah. like, okay, go on, let's talk. You know. Yeah. But yeah, it's it, it's just a shame. I, I equal pay should be something around all sporting aspects. You know, it's especially like okay, let's say the other biggest um, summer tournament is going on net right now too is Wimbledon. Yeah. And who that always? Was good. That yeah. Was good. Who always gets the publicity? The women. Yeah. 
Serena Williams. Yeah. Um, uh, what's her name? Coco. Coco. Yeah. yeah, she's getting all she's that, too. She's a phenom, right? She's yeah. Just, she's like a...